After days of Twitter threats, the United States has followed through with some action and imposed economic sanctions on Turkey. Washington has halted a $100 billion trade deal it being negotiated with Ankara and ordered tariffs on Turkish steel to be increased from 25 to 50 percent. Senior Turkish government officials have also been sanctioned. US President Donald Trump said he had fully prepared, he is fully prepared to swiftly destroy Turkey's economy in response to what he called Turkey's destabilizing actions in northeast Syria. We asked the head of the Turkish investment office, Arad Ermut, uh, how these sanctions could affect the country's investment outlook. Actually, you know, the, we survived, uh, you, know, you know, many regional and global crises in the uh, last two decades, especially in the last couple of years. As I said before, we had some major problems in Turkey domestically, and also we had, uh, we had to encounter some regional problems too. But in all of these problems, with good crisis management, both from private sector and the public side, we recovered from this crisis. Of course, it had some, uh, it had some effects, maybe delayed some uh, targets to be reached. But at the end, uh, the track record of uh, the crisis performance of Turkey help us, uh, you know, the, uh, makes us be optimistic about the future too. Turkey has some fundamentals which makes Turkey always an attractive destination for them, like the geostrategic location, the favorable demographics of young population uh, with a uh, diversified set of uh, skills, and at the same time, uh, the strong growth dynamics and the recovery story of Turkey from this kind of temporary cri crisis. I always say that, fortunately or unfortunately, Turkey's, uh, Tur Turkey's private sector especially, and also uh, relatively the public sector too, has uh, a important experience in crisis management to make the things go as normal uh, 